Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna go over how to back up and update your iPad using your computer. So first things first, down here below, you guys will see Finder. So open up Finder. If you don't see Finder down there, just go into your spotlight search, which is your top right hand corner. Just click right there and we're just gonna type in Finder. Once we type that in, it's gonna find the very first option. So just open that up. Once you open up Finder, you should see a window like this. And on the left hand side, we're gonna see locations on the bottom left hand side, locations. And you should be able to see your iPad right here. Obviously, you guys should have it hooked up to your computer right now with the cable that came with your iPad, which you usually use in order to charge your iPad. So at this point, you should see everything about your iPad right here. Now remember that this is also a workaround just in case you don't see any updates once you go into your iPad. You can do it from your computer and it's also a workaround if you guys have no more space on your iCloud to back up here on your computer instead of using iCloud. So one of the first options we have to look for is backups. So that's down here. We're going to see backups and what we have to choose is backup all data on your iPad to this Mac. And that way you don't have to worry about the five gig limit that you got from iCloud. So before we update or anything, let's just back it up. On the right hand side, we're going to see this button where it says backup now. That's exactly what we have to do. Just tap on backup now and the backup should begin. How do we know something's happening? Well, on the left hand side, beside the iPad's name under locations, you should see this. And right now we can see the progress bar. Now this backup really depends on your iPad, how much storage you guys have, how much stuff you guys have in your iPad. So for most of you with 16 gigs, it's only gonna take a couple minutes. For those of you with more gigs, then it should take a little bit more. Again, it depends how much stuff you guys actually have in your iPad. But generally you're looking at maybe one to two minutes maximum. Now my backup is almost done, yeah, and it's done. So how do I know that? Well. See, that's gone already. And on the main window, I'm gonna see last backup to this Mac today at 11, so that's right now. So at this point, it's finally safe to update your iPad. Right here, it might say your iPad is up to date. What we have to do is check for updates. So just select the very first option. And once you tap there, you should get this message on the top. It should say download and update. You could just download right now if you may want to use your iPad. However, I suggest just making that time, just leave your iPad be and do the entire thing, download and update. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Select download and update. From there, we're gonna see this and just going to next, you do have to agree. And finally, the download process will start. How do we know something's happening again? Well, same deal. On the left-hand side, we're gonna see locations and we should see this spinning around. That's just downloading, installing. It's gonna be a little bit different, but as long as you guys see something happening there, you're good to go. How long will this entire process take? Well, it does depend on your internet speed and your iPad as well. Um, older iPads will take a little bit longer. Plus, if you don't have the fastest internet speed in the world, then you could take a couple minutes more than other people that have faster internet. Now, while that's happening, I just want to show you something else about the backups. That's the third option down here, and I didn't show you that. It's encrypt local backup. So what does that mean? Well, encrypted backups protect passwords and sensitive personal data. Now, I would personally only do that if somebody else has access to my computer and I'm actually worried about that. Now, just remember during this entire process not to unhook your iPad or turn it off while it's doing this, okay? Even the downloading process, do not unplug it from your computer. Just let it be. If the screen of your iPad turns off, that's okay. That's just the screen. Obviously, since your iPad's hooked up to your computer, it's gonna keep charging. So even if you guys had low battery, it should be okay. I would still say at least have 50% of your battery and then just let it do its thing. Lower than that, it's kind of dangerous even if it's plugged in and charging because your battery might be older and maybe it's just not holding that charge like it used to. So after just a bit, we should see your iPad. So after a while, we should see your screen, something like this, and it should still be loading, so right here and your iPad screen should have turned off, turned on again with an Apple logo and a loading bar. So right now everything's taking place on your iPad. On your computer screen, we should see this moving. That means it's installing the update. So at this point, once this is done, you should see this up here. This message will tell you your iPad has been updated and just click on okay. Now everything else will take over on your iPad. So this is my iPad screen 
and it, this is exactly what you're supposed to see. So just press the home button. You should see this message on your iPad. So this is my iPad screen once again, and I should see that it's all up to date. Continue on. I can use my touch ID or I can skip this. So I'm gonna just skip that later. Don't use. Uh, same goes with passcodes. I'm just not gonna use it right now. Don't use. And it's gonna be updating my Apple ID settings. After asking for your Apple ID, my ask you also for your phone number. After that, just verify it and just get started. And that's it for this update. So you might notice a few changes right now as you start your ipad it might be a little laggy but then it'll get better over time as everything loads up properly now we can always check on your ipad if you go into your setting and just scroll down until you see general and then software update we should see that we're actually up to date on ipad os 14 and that would be it for this video at this point in time you can go ahead and eject your ipad and then unplug it from your computer you are all set Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.